Hi everybody, welcome to math. Today we are going to learn how to write a fraction next to its name. So I don't know how much you know about this, but we're going to practice together. Half is one out of two. <coughs> Excuse me. Third is one over three. Fourth is one over fourth. Fifth is one over five. Sixth is one over six. Seventh is one over seven. Eighth is one over eight. Ninth is one over nine. And tenth is one over ten. So half, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Okay, so let's practice without having them in order. So if I say, give me a third, what, what does a third look like? What is, how do we write it in numbers? That's what I'm asking for. Don't draw me a picture. This is a third. What about eighth? Eighth, one over eight. What about sixth? Sixth. 1 over 6. Okay, it's very important that you know those. And just because of the language issue, I wanted to make sure you know that. Okay, let's look at the number line. Remember the number line? This one. I wanted to look at this one, the number line. Okay, so... This is zero, this is one, okay? Where's half? This is half, one out of two parts, right? Right here is a half, right here is another half. So how many halves are there? Two, two halves. Okay, this is zero. This is one, the number line, right? What are these? One, two, three. What are they? They're thirds, one third, two thirds, three thirds. How many parts are there? One, two, three. Remember part and whole. This is the whole number. So in the assignment, it's going to ask you, well, how many thirds? For example, one, two, three. There are three thirds. Let's do another one. Zero and one. How many parts did I split it into? Let's count. One, two three and four, right? This means one over four, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. How many parts are there? One, two, three, and four. I think you get the idea, right? So I would like to look, do one more example. All right. Here's the question. Look at this question. How many fourths are there between zero and one? Fourths, right? One over four, right? So this is zero, this is one. You might know the answer already, but if you don't know, it's four. You can even, I'll show you on the number line. One, two, three, four. How many fourths are there? There's one fourth two-fourths, excuse me, two-fourths, three-fourths, and four-fourths. So how many fourths are there? There are four, four-fourths, right? Here they are. One, two, three. It says how many do you have? Four. Okay, how many sixths do I have? Well, here's zero and here's one. Sixth looks like this, one over six. 
Now you might know the answer. There's my son's pizza again. You might know the answer. And you know, well, I know that the whole is six, so it's six. That's true. If you don't know, you can draw it on a number line. There's one sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths, right? One part, two parts, three parts, four parts, five parts, six parts, six of them. Okay, one more. How many thirds? Thirds. This is a third, right? How many thirds? Well, zero is here between zero and one. Zero and one. What do I do? This is one third. This is two thirds. This is three, three thirds. Sorry about that. Okay, so how many is that? One, two, three. What's my answer? Three. You might look at this and go, well, the answer is three. That's good too. But I'm just trying to show you why there's three parts. I think we've learned enough from this lesson. Let's look at our assignment. There is a translation for your assignment, although I looked at the Arabic translation and wasn't too happy with it. Do your best. If you don't understand, text me or email me. <clears throat> Math assignment. Understanding fraction names showing fractions on the number line. Okay, in questions one through four, not one through five, sorry. I'll fix that. In questions one through four, hello, Miss M. In questions one through four, write the fraction next to its name. So fourth, how do we write fourth? Remember? I showed you all that. You know how to write fourth. Just write the number. Seventh, half, third. Okay? Now, I want you to write how many on the number line. How many eighths are there between zero and one? You might know the answer. You might go, oh, mm -hmm, I know. It's easy. You might not. If you need to draw it like you did, you can. If you already know, well, I know how many, then write it. Just give me a number. Remember how here, how many fourths? Four. How many sixths? Six. How many thirds? Three. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for you to answer how many eighths there are between zero and one. On the number line, how many fifths are there between zero and one? How many fifths? How many fifths? Okay, my friends, that's it for now. See you next time.